This is the uncertainty reduction theory, and we are the commuters. There are two theorists behind the uncertainty reduction theory, the first being Charles Berger. According to the UC Davis website, Charles Berger has a BS in psychology from Pennsylvania State and an MA and a PhD in communication from Michigan State. He still teaches at UC Davis in the communications department today. The next series is Richard Calories. According to Dominican University, he received an MA in English from Bradley University and an MA in Communication from Bradley University, a BA in Speech and Drama from Loyola University, and a PhD in Human, Human Communication Studies from Northwestern University in 1973. As of today, he is still teaching at Dominican campus. Charles Berger and Richard Calabrese came with the uncertainty reduction theory in the mid-1970s when they realized that people's first interactions followed a formula. When people first interact with one another, they have a need to communicate and learn information about the other person. In other words, they are reducing uncertainty about each other. They came up with the theory after studying initial interactions and looking at the social script people seem to follow. The uncertainty reduction theory was the first big theory in interpersonal communications. Essentially, it is a social survival skill as described by M. Griffin during an interview with Charles Berger. The world and the social world are always in a state of change, and no one is predictable upon first encounters. What is predictable is how people learn about each other during those first interactions. Theory is what people do when they first meet somebody and how they gather information about the other person. Uncertainty reduction theory is defined through its assumptions. There are several assumptions associated with the uncertainty reduction theory according to Lynn H. Turner and Richard West in their publishing Introducing Communication Theory, Analysis and Application. The first assumption being that when people are in interpersonal settings, they feel uncertain. When you are first interacting with someone you do not know, there is going to be a level of uncertainty that all people feel. The second assumption is that uncertainty is a state that people want to avoid and that it causes cognitive stress. In this assumption, all people view uncertainty as uncomfortable and unpleasant. The third assumption states when strangers first interact, their primary goal is to have little uncertainty and maximum predictability. We want to feel more comfortable by getting to know this new person. To feel more comfortable, we strive to be able to predict one another's behavior. The fourth assumption is that URT is a linear process occurring in stages. The fifth assumption, according to Turner and West, follows that URT is found in an interpersonal setting. The following assumption states that through time, during initial interactions, the quality and nature of the information you are sharing will change. When you are first interacting with a new person, you will start off with more basic questions, and as time increases and uncertainty decreases, they will develop to more in-depth or even personal questions. The last assumption stated by Turner and West concludes that within U URT, you can foretell another's behavior in a law-like fashion. In uncertainty reduction theory, there are two types of uncertainties. The first is cognitive. This is uncertainty about what another is thinking, and this causes stress. The second is behavioral. This is uncertainty about how this other person might act or respond to you. Uncertainty reduction theory is described in a series of axioms and exercised using three strategies, passive, active, and interactive. Let's see how these will work in the real world. How's it going? Oh, hey, what's up, Bray? Hey, do you know that guy over there? Oh, yeah, that's Calvin. He's one of my classes. He's a pretty cool guy. Oh, cool. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. Hey, I like your book. I've got oh, the thanks. same one. Oh, yeah. Mine's pink. Cool. What's your name? My name's Calvin. Oh, cool. I'm Ray. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I was actually heading to the bookstore right now. It's my favorite place. Oh, mine too.
Really? We should go together. Yeah, do you want to come with me? That would be fantastic. Let's go.